All right, friend, this is my last project for this course. So I'll just get started, show you the scene, and then I'll walk through the code. It's a little bit involved, uh, so please hang in there. So I'm going to start by compiling. Build succeeded. I've turned off the sound so you guys can see it. And I can explain you the scene a little bit. So uh, I got a lot going on in the scene. Uh, first of all, there's a physics body which is around the edge. Then you have a background image, that's a sprite. And then another, another sprite little bit here below on which you see the ball rolling, okay? This goes very nicely with the background. Now, you have a few other distractions here. This is a spaceship with a particle in the back going around in an ellipse. And there's a bird flying up and down. This is doing Atlas animation plus some color animation and the motion up animation. And you have a snake in the bottom which is doing get less animation, all right? So when I tap on it, you will see the tire coming down from here, go down and make jumps and it'll go collide on this side and then go back. So I'll just kind of show what things to look for. When the tire falls down, it's falling under gravity, it's a physics body. And then when it has a collision, I, I do a few things. Number one, Sounds. Sounds, I generate two sounds. One is like a wind sound and one is a thud sound. And then I show two particles. One is a sand particle that will fly up and there is a smoke particle from the tire. And another thing I do is, you see these tire uh, marks? That's a sprite that I show as well. So particles, they go away. These uh, marks, they stay here. And when I restart it, you will see they will clean away, okay? Uh, so let's start. I'll tap on it. So you see ball coming. There you go. So when the ball is going from left to right, you see it is spinning in this direction. And when it collides there, it will spin back in this direction. You can see it barely. Uh, and the sound that you're hearing in the background is for a spaceship. Okay, for a spaceship. So I'll tap on it again. Okay. So that's uh, that's what the demo looks like. The bird is an interesting uh, animation. I kind of got this uh, from Heather's uh, site. I'll show the attribution of the images where I picked up from the internet. And so bird is using the atlas animation there are nine animations which it is uh, that's how it's flapping and then i move it up and down at one location and then also it changes the color as, as you can see the color changing from white to orange and that is happening by animation and i got the idea from developer documentation then you have a snake here this one is a simple animation doesn't do anything it is just the atlas animation now the spaceship that you see here is the spaceship that comes uh, by default. It has a particles associated with it. And the animation on it is an elliptical path, okay? So I'm gonna turn off the sound and then we'll go back to the code. Let me just do it once more. Bounce back, it's the rotation will start in this direction. It's a little slow so you, you don't get to see too many particles on the emulator. Yeah. So I'm gonna stop the sound and we will stop the animation so we can review the code. Uh, I'll show you each of these things. I'm gonna start with the assets. But let me start with the info.p list just to make sure that hey, I'm doing the landscape more. Then I go to the snake atlas. Snake atlas is what you're seeing, it goes up and down. Then I got the bird atlas, which is flapping. You see it's all white color. Okay, there you go. And then I'll jump into the, well, I'll just show the sprites a little bit. This is the desert sand. It just goes up too quickly. Smoke. That's the blue fire. That's the desert sand, all right? So all of them are created from the smoke particle. That's the smoke mask. So these are the assets. 
sounds that you heard, that's the spaceship sound. There you go. Stop it. And that's the third sound. There you go. That's the wind sound. And this both third and wind are combined when I when the collision happens. Okay, so I'll go a little bit into the construction of the scene. Um, okay, so these are the attributes attributions here. I'll try to uh, do it a little bigger. And okay, and then clearly going to delegate. Now setting up the scene here. This is the physics boundary physics. That's the background node. That is the lower area of the desert where it bounces not from the edge below but a little bit little up. Then I have a tire falling from the sky. Okay, and it is falling just purely by physics. I'm not doing any animation there. Um, and I do use rotation, so you, you can see angular velocity is at minus ten, so which is clockwise. And when it hits the other end, it will turn to anti-clockwise. Then these are uh, at spaceship sprite bird and snake atlases. Okay, so a little bit on the spaceship sprite. This is uh, what we get with, and this is the elliptical path here. Uh, and I just run this sequence and I assign a sound sound it as well. Bird atlas. That is a little uh, too much going on here. I think you get the you take the atlas, assign it to the sprite, and then I put the animation in the actions by assigning the images and moving them every point one second. This is pulsating orange uh, animation. I got it from Apple documentation. There you go. Then edit bird moving up and down because looking at the snake and they can never pick it up. Right? And I'm running these three actions in parallel. I didn't sequence this because I want them to be running in parallel. And uh, pulsating orange, it has its own weights, and then I don't want that to wait with the flapping. So, uh, and I don't want weight moving up to be uh, going on. So, that is it. That's the pulsating, that, sorry, that's the bird flapping. Snake is a very simple uh, animation, just unzipping the snake atlas and uh, putting an action where it just um, rotates the frames every four, uh, every 0.4 seconds. Now these are sand particles that are created when a collision happens, which is a uh, emitter uh, node. Same thing with the smoke, and same thing with the tire tracks. And when I press the button again, I remove all that track tracks just to remove the number of nodes from the uh, uh, from the scene. This is touch begin, so basically removing all it and putting the ball back to the state on the top left, somewhere around the left. The contact begins. So most of the contact is set up, so I'm only reported. Uh, the protocol only reports when a when a tire touches something, either the lower strip or the right boundary. So this is the lower strip. This is the sequence of actions uh, that I do, which is uh, I add tire tracks first, play a thud sound at the same time, play a wind sound. Again, there is I'm not waiting for completion for the sounds. Then I add sand particles. I wait for some time, and uh, the smoke particles, and the wait for some time. Then I remove uh, those particles. Removing is basically removing them from the parent. Okay, and this is when the ball hits the boundary. On the right, uh, on the right and the left, all I do here is adjust the velocity a little bit uh, to the opposite side and give change the angular velocity so it rotates in the right direction. So you get a feel of the right direction. So that's about it, and I hope uh, you enjoyed it. And uh, uh, thank you for being part of the course. There you go. One last demo. Thank you.